Well, welcome to a new chapter in the Earth's history. I'm Lowell Taylor, and I have no doubt that the huge, major discoveries I have made are going to have a ripple effect around the world. Let's give you a quick look at a list of just 10 of the several discoveries, and let's see what you think. Now, here's a caution. These are about truths that some people will really love and appreciate because they are priceless truths. However, others will deny, ignore, and or hate them. And you'll see what I mean. As you know, some people go ballistic over any discovered truths adding validation to the Bible and Christ. It doesn't matter how true it is. It doesn't matter how much evidence there is. They reject any priceless discovered truth if it supports the Bible and Christ, period. So, here's the caution. What I'm about to show has a lot of truth, facts, and evidence about new, huge, major Bible discoveries regarding the prophetic events of our day. And we who are open to truths, including those truths which validate the Bible and Christ, we who are open to those truths are in for a lot of wild new stuff. For example, let me share with you a list of just 10 of the several new huge major Bible discoveries relating to our day. Ayatollah Khamenei, supreme leader of Iran, is absolutely positively referenced in the Bible. President Erdogan of Turkey, absolutely positively referenced in the Bible. The United States, regarding this moment in time, is absolutely referenced in the Bible. 99% sure President Trump is referenced in the Bible. By the way, here's part of the reason why we haven't caught some of these things earlier. It's because for three centuries, Three chapters in the Old Testament were thought and taught to be about ancient times. Well, as it turns out, those three chapters in the Old Testament are about our day. Huge difference. And boy, what a difference this made. Now, another reason why we haven't caught some of these things earlier is because years ago, who would have ever thought Trump would be president? Or President Erdogan would become higher than Ayatollah Khamenei. The Bible verses I'm referring to are very specific about referencing very specific people. And Erdogan and Khamenei are definitely referenced. And Trump is closing that 1% gap very quickly. When is the last time we had three people alive who were also referenced in the Bible? This is huge, major new Bible discoveries relating to our day. And here's more. An Old Testament prophet and a New Testament prophet both reference the same succession of eight kings leading up to the return of Christ in power and glory. Huge discovery. And right now, the fourth king is ruling. We know who he is and where he is. And he's not Trump. A very specific, major, soon, upcoming event is also mentioned in the Bible, reference to the United States and the fourth king. Here's a big one. The fate of the fifth United States is absolutely positively referenced in the Bible. I have discovered how to organize the general order of the prophetic events of our day, as found in the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation. Here's where I'm going with this. I know, I know, I know you're wondering, is it true? Since 1998, God has given me a great passion to be on a journey of better understanding the prophetic events of our day. God has also given me a tenacious desire to look for ways to help you and others learn these priceless, beautiful truths. All along the way, I have known full well Everyone at the beginning of hearing this information would be wondering if what I'm sharing with them is true. Finding the best way to lay out my case 
has been a long, hard journey. One of the reasons was because some of the Bible signs I have been expecting to play out were too far-fetched or many people, uh, for many people to believe. However, guess what? As you will see, some of those Bible signs that were once too far-fetched, they have actually happened or are happening and others are now shaping up to where we can no longer call them too far-fetched. In fact, some people, well, they look at those things as, well, those are obviously going to happen. Like uh, Khamenei stirring up all against the U.S. or Erdogan becoming higher than Khamenei or things shaping up uh, where the United States would attack Erdogan and Khamenei. Yeah. Now people are really starting to take a closer look at this information. Here's what else is helping people. Since 1998, I have built up a lot of resources to help me make my case, uh, explain things to others in an enjoyable, enlightening, and very open, straightforward way. Let me share with you uh, some of the examples of things I've put together over the years to help you verify the truth for yourself. This is a poster with 210 prophetic points in general order. Let me explain what a prophetic point is. In the book of Revelation and in the book of Daniel, there's a lot of prophecies relating to our day. Uh, each one of those prophecies will have a beginning point. And they'll typically have an end point. And then John and Daniel could have mentioned several points in between. So breaking down those prophetic events into prophetic points, I came up with 192 leading up to the return of Christ, 193 to 210 is all about when he returns. Now, what I also did was I organized those prophetic points according to which of the eight kings is in power when each of those prophetic points happen. So over here is the list of the prophetic points that happened during the time of the fourth king. Over here is the list of the prophetic points that happened during the fifth king, and then the sixth, and the seventh, and then the eighth. And now, uh, here's a huge point that brings this out. From 1925 to 2013, we, uh, we got to point number, prophetic point number about 15. Now here we are, and uh, about 2018 coming up here, and we're on prophetic point number 26. Huge progress. I mean, we are making progress here. Now some people thought that we'd be a lot further along, but the point is, is that now we know for sure where we are in the prophetic events. And you gotta get one of these posters because over the next few years, we're going to go from prophetic point number 26 to prophetic point number 38. And uh, so get one of these posters and be able to, to check it off as those happen. Now, the other thing that more fully helps us appreciate uh, the, and helps you to validate um, the things that are going on is um, it's a website that has a list of the 10 of the several huge major discoveries that we've already gone through uh, relating to our day and it also has a list of the Bible signs happening or shaping up to happen plus it has many many links to articles giving validation to Bible signs happening let's take a look at some of the prophecies to be watching for Number one, Khamenei will intensify his efforts to stir up all against the U.S. By the way, that is prophetic point number 16 on the poster. Here are some of the pictures of news pages which support that happening. Back on September 23, 2016, the G77 backed the Iran nuclear deal. When Trump announced Jerusalem, could be the capital of Israel, 
on December 6, 2017, Iran was quick to respond. Palestine will be freed. There was a lot of articles about Trump's announcement. Here's another prophetic point that now has happened and continues to play out. Number two, the other king is to become higher than Khamenei. That relates to prophetic point number 17 and 18. On July 17, 2016, Erdogan was declared the supreme leader of the entire Muslim world. Again, that was on July 17, 2016. So now, over a year later, when Erdogan, on December 5, 2017, the day before Trump's announcement about Jerusalem, when Erdogan, the supreme leader of entire Muslim world, announced that this was the Muslims' red line. That is a huge statement. Drudge Report had this page on December 6, 2017. Erdogan called for an Islamic summit. Where did they meet? In Turkey. Who's the leader of that council? Erdogan. What was the result of that summit? Muslim nations, including Iran, recognize Al Quds as Palestine capital. And Erdogan and Khamenei didn't stop there. On December 13, 2017, there was this front page. The UNGA unanimously votes against U.S. move on al -Quds. The UNGA stands for United Nations General Assembly. Press TV reported the 193-nation assembly adopted the resolution on Thursday by a decisive vote of 128 to 9 with 35 abstentions. Over the past few years, there have been many articles that point to Khamenei stirring up all against the U.S. Erdogan is now higher than Khamenei. Now look at number three. Khamenei and Erdogan will push to the west, north, and south. Well, they have been doing that. Let's see how much more that happens in the future. This relates to prophetic points number 19 through 25. For years, I have gotten a lot of grief from people, including religious leaders, saying it will never happen, yet one after another after another have. Now, prophetic point number 27 relates to number 4 here. It's about the U.S. attacking Turkey and Iran. Now think about this. When the Old Testament prophet Daniel and the New Testament prophet John in the book of Revelation have been correct about 26 times since 1925, do you think there is a chance number 27 will happen? Be sure to check this website often. Look to see what prophetically is happening that the mainstream media may not be pointing out. Yeah, just know that for those getting started, this website is like jumping in on the middle of a conversation. It's easy to uh, see points are being made, yet you know you're missing the bigger picture. Another source to help you verify the truth for yourself is a website where I walk you through the related Bible chapters. This is a great opportunity to ask questions and really check out those Bible chapters. I show you connections and correlations between chapters and also events of our day. It's a lot of fun. However, that is what I call step two. And when you have done step one, the next step, step two, is awesome. Now, regarding step one, more and more people are agreeing that step one is by far the very best insight 
on how Bible prophetic events of our day play out in general order. It's a short story. We all know how stories can help us assimilate information. Well, this is an um, engaging, powerfully informative, fictional story to bring out factual insights. It kind of walks you through the general order, the Bible prophetic events of our day, leading up to the return of Christ in power and glory. It's based off of the prophetic events as found in the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation. You get the big picture with this story. Many people crush through it in just a couple of nights. It's, it would be great if you had the 210 prophetic point poster to reference as you go along. Once you read the book, then the website Bible Signs Happening will make more sense to you as well. And the 210 point poster will make more sense too. Be sure to write down your questions as you go along. Once you're done reading the book, then it's time for step two, where I walk you through the related Bible chapters. I get to point out connections and correlations I have found in the Bible and in events of our day. I also get to share insights about what is coming in the future. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of productive learning. So, even though more and more people are agreeing that the prophetic playbook story is by far the very best insight on how the Bible prophetic events of our day play out in general order, it's the combination of the prophetic playbook story, the poster, the Bible Science Happening website, and me going through with you the related Bible chapters and current events that really is a priceless journey. And where does this priceless journey lead? It's all about you prayerfully gaining greater insights, faith, hope, and charity as you develop a greater relationship with God and learn what He wants you and your family to do, especially given the challenges ahead. That's just part of what I hope you get out of the journey through step two. Now, after step two, there is even more fun. It's a more private website for those of us who have read the book and verified the chapters. We get to hang out together, share tips, build on what we've learned, talk about other things like what we see going on, what's coming our way, the success we are seeing in this information spreading around the world, giving more insight and hope. We can talk about other Bible chapters, including technology, other theories, tips on happier living, preparedness, new music, how to shape up government, and the list goes on. What we don't have to do is repeat the basics all over. If you're like me, you get tired of talk shows where they keep repeating the same things over and over and over and over again. I won't miss that. So, as you can see, this is an awesome journey. There's a lot of new insights to learn and a lot of rethinking and planning to do as we work with God to make a bright future for our priceless families and our loved ones and people we haven't even met yet. I'm so thankful that Christ will return in power and glory and straighten out this whole world. I'm thankful God wants us to know the general order, the prophetic events of our day and where we are in them. I'm thankful God wants us to work with him to create a bright future for many wonderful people, including our priceless families. I'm thankful that after all these years, things are finally at a point, including my material, to where people like you can see the Bible signs happening and a solid case can be made showing that they are truly happening. We are on track for Christ to come back in power and glory. Heaven knows we need these insights. The world needs these proofs. The world needs a draw closer to Christ movement. We need to work with God to build a bright future. So let's do this. Order the prophetic playbook story now and begin this amazing journey. 
A new chapter of this world's history has begun. Christians can now know the general order of the prophetic events, where we are in them, and in short, we have the prophetic playbook and can work with Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost to make great things happen. I love it. Let's do it.